What's going on, everyone? So, the Los Angeles Lakers have made their first move in re-signing Max Christie to a four-year, $32 million deal. So, basically averages out to $8 million a year. Uh, he has a player option uh, for the end of that deal. Uh, we'll see how the Lakers structure that, at least at the time of recording this video. Um, we don't see how, is it like just $8 million standard each year? Or do they kind of give him like $3 million this year and then like an inflated the following year? Uh, right, because the Lakers are trying to preserve as much cap space right now as possible. So that way they could go get a guy like a Clay Thompson in free agency on like the MLE and then go work out a trade. Uh, you see them linked to Jeremy Grant, uh, Brooke Lopez, and I'm sure that's just the beginning of guys that the Lakers are linked to. Um, but starting with Max Christie, right? I think that this is a great move. I think this is one that, you know, isn't a shocker or surprise to anybody. I think everyone kind of knew, you know, Max Christie wasn't going anywhere. Uh, based on reports, one of the biggest reasons why Darvin Ham was fired was because of the lack of utilization of Max Christie. I mean, most of our best lineups last season had Max Christie in it because of his ability to shoot off ball. He was a 40% catch and shoot three point shooter the last two years and be able to defend multiple positions, right? He was one of our better defensive guys last year. And it's like, he's a guy that made a lot of sense uh, to get some minutes, I'm not saying you have to play him 30 minutes a game, but no, she, there's no reason he shouldn't have been playing, you know, 12 to 15 minutes, especially when you're playing Tory and Prince, like 30 plus. It's like, you got Max Christie, he's young, young legs, right? You need to not only develop him, but you want to see, like, what is he made of? What can he provide, right? Like, look at Austin Reeves, for example. Darvin Ham kind of used him sparingly like Max Christie, and then just by circumstance... He kind of was forced to, to play Austin Reeves more. And then Austin Reeves had his breakout and emergence, right? Because you remember Austin Reeves, he got the starting job and really started playing heavy minutes when LeBron went down and the Lakers had a couple like injuries. So then Austin Reeves had to come in. He ended up stepping up and capitalized on the minutes, right? And so it kind of highlights, you know, how do you know what you have unless you actually give opportunity? You know, Max Christie playing garbage minutes or, you know, just little random minutes. One, it's hard to really build and develop consistency. And then in garbage time, you're not playing real basketball, right? Like you're not running real sets. You're not, you're just trying to get out of the, the game, right? You're just trying to make sure your main guys don't get hurt and just trying to kill the clock and be done with it. And we saw the leaps that Max Christie had in summer league. Now I get it's just summer league, but still, right, like, he clearly was better than everybody. I mean, Max Christie was one of, if not the best players in Summer League, uh, and you saw those strides. I mean, he was getting whatever he wanted whenever he wanted it. He was getting to his spots. He was hitting shots. He was defending, right? He looked really good for the Lakers. So it was like there was this sense of excitement of, like, oh, man, what can he provide on the actual team, on the actual roster, uh, given how good he looks in summer league, right? Like, again, you're not looking for him to be a star right out the gate. You're just looking for him to come in and give you some stable minutes uh, to give some guys some rest. So hopefully with J.J. Redick, and again, his ability to knock down the three ball as well as defend and kind of be that three and D guard, which I do think he is more than. I am super high on, Aust on uh, uh, Max Christie, right? And... I mean, I've talked about it. People are like, you're delusional with what you think, Max. I think he can be one of the premier kind of two guards. I'm not saying he's going to be a top 10 player, top 15 player or anything like that. But I think as far as like a two guard that can defend, as that can, you know, hit the open three, that can create for himself, create a little bit for others, right? I think he can really be that guy. I think he is are a real, I think his upside is insane. And from what we've seen from him and his just size, and obviously he's got to round out and get kind of more into his grown man body, but he's still incredibly young. I mean, he's younger than, I mean, connect and we just drafted him, right? So I am really high on Max Christie. And now you have Max Christie and Austin Reeves. You got kind of your two guys, which, you know, at, at some point it begs the question, are you going to have to get, are you going to have to choose one of them? Right? Because, Yes, could you maybe move Austin Reeves to the point at some point? I don't think so. I mean, at least from what we saw, 
right? Last year, they tried to run Austin Reeves at the point guard. I mean, he had entire units. Like, he was running the entire second unit by himself as the primary playmaker, and it was terrible, right? The offense was stagnant, right? Darvin Ham kept doing that at the end of quarters, and every time the other team would go on a run, we couldn't score anything because Austin Reeves, he's not a playmaker, he can make a play, but there's a difference between a playmaker and a guy that can make the occasional play. Austin Reeves can find the, the occasional cutter, can find the open man, can throw the occasional lob, but he's not a guy that's seeing things develop before they develop or making things develop uh, just through just his playmaking abilities. That doesn't mean he can't evolve and become that, right? And a lot of people point to, well, he played point guard in high school. He played point guard in college. Well, yeah, but... The NBA is vastly different than high school and college. And so, especially in like the Western Conference and the NBA, I mean, the NBA is is evolving into like a point guard league, especially the Western Conference. I mean, think of all the top point guards in the West, right? One, can Reeves defend those guys? And two, you know, like, can he actually uh, operate and run an offense? But, you know, Max Christie, it's like, he's the guy that, if he develops the way that the Lakers and you know many of us fans are hoping he develops, Austin Reeves may end up being either have to go to the bench and be your sixth man, or he's going to end up being a trade chip later on down the road. Because Max Christie, again, just he's better defensively. He's a guy that has the farther upside, right? Like Austin Reeves, don't get me wrong, if Austin Reeves, I know he had his... his just down year, I guess. But even in down year, he gave you like 16 points. He wasn't as bad last year as a lot of people make him out to be, but he wasn't as good as he was the previous year when he had his emergence. And then on top of that, it's like he just couldn't shoot the three ball. Like that was his biggest problem. If he shot, you know, 38% from three, he would have been a 20 point a game guy. So talk about 20, you know, four and four, 25 and five guy, which is really good. But Max Christie is a guy that I think, you know, can get to the point. I'm not necessarily saying he's there now. I'm saying in the next, like, year, two years plus, I could see him being a guy that he can defend the best guard on the other team and also be a guy that go get you 20 a night. Right? I, I, again, I don't know if he's necessarily there yet, but you also don't know until you play him. Right? Like nobody thought Austin Reeves was going to be the guy that he was until he started playing. And then all of a sudden you were like, wow, where did this guy come from? We got him undrafted. So I love the value for Max Christie. I love the upside from Max Christie. I just, to me, it's just you got to get him the opportunity. Right? Right now, you don't have to make the decision because, you know, Max Christie still has to prove himself. He still has a lot to prove. Uh, and Austin Reeves is is currently the guy that has shown that he can go get you buckets and, you know, be, a, you know, he's not your second best player, but he could be your third, fourth guy. So can Max Christie evolve into where he's clearly, you know, your third guy or your, your fourth guy where it's like, okay, like you have to play him. His defense is too good. His versatility, the way he can just get to his spots and, and get a bucket, right? Like I think Max Christie is a guy that could have a better overall offensive game. I think he's a guy that shoots over the top better. Right? I think he's a guy that can get to his spots a little easier, right? particularly with the athleticism, size, the length, um, you know, his quickness, his youth, where Austin Reeves, you know, he's not the most explosive. He's just crafty. right? He gets to his spots, he, he, but he has to work for it. Where Max Christie, you saw at times... He just kind of either just blows by the guy or gives a little move, or if the guy's in his space, he just shoots over the top, right? Max Christie has, I think, the, the higher ceiling on the offensive side and then also is the better defensive guy. But he still, again, has a long way to go, right? He has a long way to develop, um, but I really do like his upside. And I wouldn't be shocked if, given the opportunity, he is a key contributor. Again, not saying he's going and giving you... 30 a night or anything like that. But I think it's not out of the realm of possibility that he hits double digits for the Lakers. He averages, you know, anywhere from 10 to, you know, a best case scenario, 15. I just, I don't think he's going to, I think he'll be part of the rotation. I just don't think he's going to be like the main guy. Although it depends on, depending on what the trade is, 
and what they end up doing and you know how things shape up, he could end up starting, right? Like if uh, you know, like if the Lakers end up going and getting Jeremy Grant and say Clay Thompson, or if they get like a DeMar DeRozan or something, right? And it's like, well, we can't have DeMar and you know Reeves in the starting lineup, or, you know, we can't have, you know, Reeves and Clay, like, if that doesn't work, right, like, let's say you have Grant at the three, Clay at the two, and then Reeves at the point, like, if that's not working, you're gonna have to move somebody to the bench, right, and so Christie may just, based on how the roster shapes up, just through his defense and his catch and shoot ability, may end up having to be bumped into the starting lineup. So that's definitely something to kind of keep an eye on and look out for. Um, just because, again, like he shot 40% from catch and shoot the last two years. Like last year, I think it was like 39 and some change. So it wasn't quite 40%. But still, I mean, even 39%. Um, he's basically shown in his first two years that he's a 40% catch and shoot, three-point shooter. Now, again, from three, period, he's not. I'm talking about solely catch and shoot. I just want to clarify that so... People aren't like, well, you know, I looked up his stats and he's not. I'm talking about just catch and shoot. Catch and shoot threes, which is what he's primarily going to get. Again, he still needs to evolve. He still needs to get better on, you know, just creating for himself at the three-point line and being able to just shoot more naturally, um, you know, out on the break, uh, you know, uh, just while he's operating with with the ball in his hands, right? Work on, you know, maybe even, not even has to be like a step back or anything like that, but just... He needs to definitely work on his three-point shooting. But the fact that he's a, a good catch-and-shoot three-point shooter, or, well, excellent, really. I mean, 40% is excellent, especially in this league. Um, you know, So his ability to catch-and-shoot three, as well as defend, I think may be very valuable for the Lakers. But anyway, uh, as always, this is a discussion. I pass question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, are you excited for Max Christie? Um, what do you think? Uh, do you think he's going to get the opportunity under J.J.? Do you think that he'll eventually move in the starting unit? What do you think his ceiling is? However, feel whatever your thoughts are. I love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Let's me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.